Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new on my channel, then welcome. Today's video is a special one because it is my birthday. Well, not when you're watching this, I have no idea when this video is going to go up, but on the day that I'm filming this, it's my birthday. So yeah, I wanted to do something very, very extra, very over the top, a lot of glitz and glam and uh, yeah, uh, because I just, I, I had to make myself feel a bit better about becoming older. So it just seemed like the perfect thing to do, you know, play around with makeup. That is what we're doing today. Uh, I am using my favorite palette. Well, at least it's one of my favorites. I have several favorites, but this is definitely in my top three. Um, the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette for this one. Uh, and I know that a lot of you guys love this palette as well, and a lot of you guys have it. So you will be able to recreate this look. It is quite a handful, let me tell you. It's gonna take a while, and it's a lot of going back and forth. It's, it's just one of those looks, and it gets really, really messy again before it starts looking beautiful. I don't even know why I'm saying it at this point because you guys know that is pretty much how all of my tutorials go anyway. Um, but yeah, I am actually super, super, super happy with how it came out. I hope that you guys like it as well. And if you decide to recreate it or if you love this look, um, just let me know in the comment section. It would mean so, so much to me. And if you do decide to recreate the look, then you can always tag me on Instagram. If you want to uh, be there for me during this difficult time of me not being 25 anymore officially, <laughs> then keep on watching this video. First, I'm just getting my hair out of the way uh, so that I would see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to uh, mix together the NYX Dark circle concealer in the shade medium with the Catrice um, camouflage cream concealer in the shade rosy sand which is sadly discontinued um, but yeah I'm trying to get as much use out of it still as I can but I'm mixing those two together and uh, putting them on my under eyes to get rid of those dark circles and then I'm moving on to my eyelids using the NYX uh, high definition eyeshadow base to prime my eyelids before I go in with eyeshadow and then I'm just uh, blending that primer onto my eyelids with my fingers. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm first taking the shade Creamsicle and on a big fluffy brush I am just starting to blend that into my crease quite sloppily as you can see. Um, I'm just kind of going back and forth in the windshield wiper motions as per usual. I'm laying the color down, um, I'm just first kind of trying to apply it everywhere in um, in my crease and kind of blend it towards the eyebrow as well and I'm going back into the shadow quite a few times to build the color up to uh, what I want it to be like so you can just see me going back and forth and taking more shadow and blending it out some more and then I'm taking a uh, fluffy brush that is kind of dirty but it doesn't have any eyeshadow on it anymore um, and I'm just going over the edges to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and then I'm taking the shade Pukey and this is uh, on a more condensed brush. This is the 227 from Zoeva and I'm starting to work on the outer V and also on the inner corner of my eye. I'm laying down the outer barriers of that halo eye that I'm about to create and then you can see me running off because uh, my best friend showed up at my door and she surprised me which was super super cute so yeah uh, jumping back uh, not back in time sorry jumping forward in time uh, I'm going <laughs> I'm continuing with the eye look so uh, yeah I'm just building up the color pukey in my crease in my inner corner and in my outer corner as you can see and I'm just making sure that it is nicely blended into the shade creamsicle Next, I'm building the depth up even more and I'm taking the shade Mocha and I'm kind of just concentrating that shade on the outer part and on the inner part of my eye again, pretty much where we put the shade Pukey. Um, but I'm just trying to be a bit more precise with this one. And as you can see, I'm just kind of going back and forth and when I have built the color up in my inner corner and my outer corner, that is when I uh, connect the two parts and create that halo effect. And then again, you can see me building up the color and once I am happy with it, I am going back in with that uh, somewhat cleaner brush and just making sure that everything is nice and blended. And then I'm going in with the uh, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla. This is the concealer that I use every single time I do a uh, halo eye and you can just see me kind of carving out the center of the lid where the main shadows are going so 
I'm just trying to make sure that everything is nice and even. And when you see me doing that thing with my head, like looking up and looking down, it's because I want to make sure that it's not going to transfer, that I have the crease cut in the precise spot. And then I'm not taking any more shadow, I'm just going in with the previous brush uh, with the shade Mocha on it, and I'm going over the edges of that concealer to make the transition part more smooth. And then I'm taking the shade Twerk, which is really like the main focus of this eye look and I'm going to uh, start building it up on the outer parts of that concealer part and I'm leaving the center empty for the golden shade that we're going to go in with later. But next I'm going to take the shades Central Park and Soda Pop and I'm mixing those two together and I'm deepening up the outer and the inner corners because uh, I kind of saw that the browns and the blue didn't really mesh all too well and the shade Soda Pop is slightly more purple undertoned. Um, so it just seemed like a better kind of transition color to use. And then I'm going in with the main golden shade, which is called Queen. And I'm just pressing that on the center of my eyelid, right on that um, concealer part that we left bare. And then I'm kind of flipping over the brush and just working on making sure that the blue transfers into the gold nicely, or as nicely as it can. And when I'm somewhat happy with it, I'm going back in with the shade uh, Mocha, kind of running that over the edges. And then I'm again taking the previous brushes and just going over the edges, making sure that everything is blended and diffused nicely. And then I mix together the shades Mocha and Central Park. And I'm again running over the whole halo eye, making sure that it is nice and uh, precise and kind of emphasized. So that's where you can see me just going back, back and forth with the all the brushes pretty much adding color and blending it out and uh, as the last thing I'm taking more of the shade mocha and I'm just adding it on the outer parts because we've kind of you know blended it away and covered it up with darker shades so I'm going back in with the shade mocha a bit and again I'm going back in with the previous brush and I'm just perfecting the outer corner um, to have this nice diffusion of colors from darkest to lightest and then just one more time going over the whole edges and blending everything out. And then I'm moving on to the face and I'm mixing together the foundations uh, that I love so, so much. I'm mixing together the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade Vanilla and the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in the shade Light Sand. And I'm just uh, beauty blending them onto my face. And to be honest, the, uh, the combo was maybe a tiny bit too dark for me, but like maybe half a shade because yeah, I'm not as tan anymore as I was. So I'm just making sure that I cover my whole face and that I'm blending it down my neck and all that. And uh, you know, you know how it goes. So once my whole face and my neck is covered, I'm moving on to concealer and I'm taking my favorite, the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm just dotting that on my under eyes. And I'm also putting a bit on my forehead and on my chin, which I don't normally do. You guys know this, I don't normally put concealer there, but just because I felt like um, my face was slightly too, to 10, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to create that balance and kind of add a bit more lightness on the forehead and the chin part so that everything would kind of come nicely together. And once I had uh, blended in my concealer underneath my eyes, I'm moving on to my brows. First, just kind of spooling through them as I always do. And then I uh, laid down the main shape on the bottom part of my eyebrows with the Brow Cream by Morphe in the shade Latte. And then I'm going over with the Catrice Eyebrow Stylist eye, uh, Brow Pencil, sorry. Um, and it is in the shade Date with Ashton. And I'm just kind of going back and forth again and just filling in my brows in the sparse areas. And then I'm setting the hairs in place with the Morphe Brow Gel. And then it's time to set the under eyes. So I'm first getting rid of any creases that might have appeared on my under eyes. And then I'm setting them um, with the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder, the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. It's one of my all-time favorite powders. And then I'm moving on to finishing up the eye look. So I'm first taking the shade Pukey, just on its own, and I'm running that all over my lower lash line. And I'm also kind of blending it out again with that fluffier brush. 
And then I'm taking the shades Mocha and Central Park and I'm mixing those two together and running them very, very close to my lower lash line. Really, really getting in there in the lower lashes and again, just blending them uh, together with the pukey shade and last but not least I'm taking the shade twerk and I'm putting that on the front part of my lower lash line and just kind of working it in there with the browns and now it's just the inner corner highlight left so I'm taking the shade beam which is my favorite highlighting shade from the palette and I'm putting that in my inner corners and underneath my eyebrows and then to create that glittery effect, I'm using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And I'm running that on the first third of my lower lash line as well. Well, you see what I'm doing anyway. And now I'm moving back onto the face to kind of finish that up. So I'm taking the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel uh, Cream Bronzer and I'm just warming up the face. And then I'm highlighting the face and I'm using one of my favorites. This is the Milani Strobe Light in Day Glow. And I'm just running over all the usual areas that I normally highlight. I'm going over with a just a, a clean brush, it doesn't have any product on it, but you guys know that I love to press the highlight into my skin and make it more one with the skin. And then I'm taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the shade Warm Light, and I'm just adding a bit more coverage underneath my eyes. I'm uh, bronzing some more because I love me some bronzer, so I'm using my favorite Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer, and I'm very lightly going over all the areas where we have already put the cream bronzer, and I'm also very, very likely going around the edges of my nose to create some more dimension. I'm finishing up the look with some blush, and this is the uh, MAC Mineralize Blush in the shade Warm Soul. And now I'm just curling my eyelashes, putting on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Waterproof Mascara. And then I'm applying some falsies. These are the Doll Beauty Doll Lashes in the style ever. And I'm also applying some mascara on my bottom lashes and finishing up the lips with the Fenty um, Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. Then you can see me kind of blotting it a bit because I didn't want my lips to be too glossy. So I'm just kind of making sure that it's, you know, not too overpowering. And this was my ultra glam birthday makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys liked it. It was... Very, very, very extra, I know that, <laughs> but I kind of wanted to go all in and just go crazy with makeup because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. I've just been wearing my everyday makeup pretty much every day. So yeah, it's just, it was really, really cool to do something a bit more special. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then you already know. Please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. Thanks guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.